覚悟してろよ行くぜ Welcome to World Breaker Coup's Reviews. I'm your host, World Breaker Coup. And today, we are looking at the almost top 10 action figures 2018. There were so many good figures this year that I decided to do about 30 figures for my top favorite Marvel Legends of the year. Um, there is a caveat with that. Um, this first video will feature uh, figures 11 through uh, 30. Um, and it will not feature any repaints or build figures. That's going to be a separate video as well as the top 10. So let's start with the bottom 30. I had to put, cause we had a lot of figures. I had to put Deathlock at 30. Great figure, like the accessory, although the bullets kind of don't stay in there. So that kind of knocked him down. The claw, uh, his, it was 29, his face, uh, just the paint there is just ridiculously good. Um, uh, had to put him there. 28, we have Yellow Jacket looking really good. Uh, holding Ant Man, I just think that's a fantastic figure. I could have put it higher, but I just didn't like the character as much, and that's kind of why he's down so low. Because as a figure itself, it's just a work of art. Then we had Spider Punk, um, he probably could have went a little higher too, um, but um, he's where he is, he is for a reason. So we've got Spider Punk with the great accessories there, um, a lot of the same modes, but. I digress. Then we have Wasp at number uh, 26. Looking good. I love the wings and her mask, but I'm going to unmask for right now for display purposes. Then up here, we have number 25, which is Ant-Man. It's going a little higher. He's looking good there. Um, followed by the Deadpool with the boxers. Um, I just love this figure. Uh, great. Pretty good accessories, but the sculpt on the legs and boxes are killing it. Um, then we have um, Black Widow uh, at number 23. Looking good. Sorry about the camera work there. Followed by Luke Cage at uh, number 22. Then we have at 21, Bishop. Looking good, too. Um, he would have been higher, but he uses the Hyperion body mode which really kind of hurts his uh, his overall. Now the next 10, we're gonna do one at a time, so that way you don't really know what's coming. So bear with me as we get into the figures that are number 20 through 11. Okay, so here we have number 20, Mysterio. Some of you may be wondering like, why? This is a great figure, why is it any higher? Well, let's just, let me just explain a little bit what I really like in a character. Uh, what factors in is how much I like the character. Um, that's like number one. Uh, how good the character is as representing representing the figure itself. That's number two. And then the articulation and all the you know different points of accessories. So there's nothing wrong with Mysterio. He's just not my favorite character. So I couldn't really rate him higher. But I thought, but, but because he is such a good figure, that's why he's even in my top twenty. And I can't get this mask off for some reason there we go i mean the the unmasked head just ridiculous um the sculpt the texturized accessories with them i could i had to put him in my top 20. so there we have mysterio uh, next is at number 19. Uh, we have a shocker for, for some of you mr fantastic um fantastic mode i like the face um, I like the uh, weapon. Um, what else can I say? It looks very bland to some people, but this is Mr. Fantastic to me, and I like his character a lot. Couldn't ask for much more. So after Mr. Fantastic, we have, uh, let's see, go with uh, Namor. I probably like this figure more than I should. I don't know why. Um, besides him being a naked man, um, it's just a great scope, you know, uh, I love the, uh, the weird old school scale bikini pants. Um, I can't pull that off. I think my wife would probably look at me like I'm crazy. Um, I love the trident. I love that he came with two faces, one bearded, one that's very old school. So, I mean, this is Namer. So it killed it. Um, from there 
we will go with Nakia. Um, I don't, I didn't know her character that much prior to, um, I don't know, uh, back in the day in the comics. I mean, she wasn't that big of a character. I think she was actually a villain too. Spoilers, but the actual uh, effects or the detail on this mode, the face. It was just so authentic, I had to put it high. I mean, I couldn't help it. It's, it's, it's not like I love the character that much, but because there's so much detail and love that they put in this character, I had to put it this high. I, I just could not, you know, put it any other way. I mean, you could probably flip her with Namor. And actually, now I think about that, I probably like Namor more than Nakia, but we'll leave it as it is. And after that, we have our Silver Surfer. Um, I've been waiting for this figure for a long time, um, a long time, and it probably would have been in my top 10 had it not been for this dang board. Hasbro, come on, you get one peg, one peg? Should have been a wider board and two pegs at least. That would have made this Silver Surfer perfect. I mean, they give you accessories with it too. Um, it's, it's the board. It's, if it was not for the board, he would have been higher. So that's why uh, Silver Surfer is sitting at 16, which means our 15 and getting closer to the top 10 is Spider-Man PS4. Um, I love this Spider-Man. I, I love it. It is probably my new favorite Spider-Man in my collection now. Um, I think this mode, is, this body is just meant for it. I love the accessorized, accessories with it. If they would have done the textured, the texture to it this in the game then it would have been probably yeah for sure top top 10 for sure so there we have um what is that uh, that is 20 through 15 and i miscounted because i have six up here is that correct yep yeah, that's right okay so there's 2015 let's see who uh bring it in okay and here we have at 14, um, X23. They gave us two X23s this year, um, the Wolverine costume and the X23 X-Force one. Uh, I thought the X-Force costume was superior. Well, not the costume, but the, the implementation of it. This looks better, um, unfortunately, than the Wolverine costume, which I was really waiting for. It even had the claws on the feet, which this one does not have. But because this one was so well done with the face, the hair, and just, it's accurate. I liked it. I loved it. So that's why uh, X23 is my number 14. When it comes to lucky number 13, we have Storm. Um, for years in the comics, I have loved Storm. She's one of my favorite superheroes of all time. Uh, especially top three in the female department. Um, and I've always hated the Mohawk. Hated the Mohawk. So the fact that I love Storm so much and they did the Mohawk so well that I put it number 13 lets you know how well they did. I mean, this is just amazing. Um, I cannot wait for the 90s version that we get because um, it will just look amazing. I mean, look at how the arms go with the lightning. They give us two lightning effects. Classic. Classy. Love it. Two belts. I mean, oh, man, that's a good figure. Good figure. If you don't own that one, something's wrong. If it wasn't for that mohawk, she would easily be in my top ten. It's just a damn hit mohawk. From there, we have uh, number 12, which is Psylocke. Um, I have the black hair variant. I wish I had the purple hair, but on this costume, one of these days I'll track down the purple hair one and get that and then make my best Psylocke figure. Um, I like this a lot. Uh, some people were disappointed in it. They could have went with a more larger feminine female body, like the old school uh, version, or we had a scream and a roll previously. That would have been a better body for uh, Psylocke, but this is fine. Um, it's fine. The paint's pretty good. It's a couple issues with paint rubs here and there, but they made up for it with the accessories. I mean, you get her psychic dagger, um, the sword with a effect that can come on and off. How cool is that? And you get the, her facial thing that's either like this or like a butterfly sometimes. This thing barely stays on, but, you know, with a face like that, 
it's, it's, it's awesome. Still works. Still works. And eventually, I'm looking forward for them making a current um, Psylocke. So, just beat out of the top 10, we have Cable. This is a this is an excellent figure. Originally, this was my top 10 uh, figures for the year, um, earlier this year, but it fell um, due to some more recent figures. Um, and I still think this is one of the best Marvel Legends they've ever done. Um, it just screams 80s, or excuse me, 90s. Love the big gun. Love the storage space for it. Love that he has another gun, like a little shotgun or futuristic shotgun there. N nice holsters for it. A nice pistol there. I mean, hey, what's not to love about this guy? So he's my number 11, just sliding out of the top 10. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed the look at figures 30 through um, 11. We will be doing a top 10 Marvel Legends of the Year. Um, along with a, my top 10 repaints, just top 10, and my best, my favorite build of figures of the year. Because I'm not putting build of figures or figures that have come out before and that have been repaint, repainted. So, I hope you've enjoyed this review. And until next time, peace and chicken grease.